This is problem number 9 from section 1.2. In this problem, they say the direction of the graph of the given function and by what factor of the, the function is to be stretched or compressed are given. Give an equation for the stretched or compressed graph. They give us this radical function. They want it to be stretched horizontally by a factor of 4. So just like the previous problem, anytime they talk about horizontally, they're saying they want us to change the function uh, where the independent variable is. So they're not saying to uh, take the function and add or subtract to it or multiply or divide to it. They're saying specifically affect uh, the independent variable. So if I want to stretch horizontally by a factor of 4, let's talk about what that looks like. Um, the easiest thing to, although this is a radical equation, we can think of stretching a parabola and then just apply that to a radical equation. If I were to stretch a parabola horizontally, I'd be pulling it this direction. And when I pull it this direction, it's going to spread itself out, which means the y values are going to decrease. Uh, decrease, sorry, they're going to go up slower as I pull this out because it's going to be more of a, a wider U. It would look more like this. So when I'm stretching something horizontally, I'm affecting the y values by making them uh, rise slower. So essentially, when I want to stretch something horizontally, I want to uh, go to the x value, the independent variable, and I want to divide that variable by the number that I'm talking about. So. If I want to go by a factor of 4, I'm going to say y equals root, and then inside here I'm going to divide the independent variable by 4. Because when I divide the independent variable by 4, what does that do to the y values? Well, that's going to shrink the y values, meaning they're going to go up slower, which is going to widen the u for the parabola, and it'll do the same thing for the radical, right? It's going to make the radical... Uh, it's going to make it flatten. So if we think about the radical equation, the radical equation looks like this. So if we want to stretch it horizontally, that means we're grabbing this end and we're pulling it this direction. And when we pull it this direction, this wants to go downwards, right? Think about pulling a string this direction, right? It's starting to flatten out. And uh, so the y values are increasing slower. That's why we're dividing by 4 on the independent variable, so the y values uh, increase slower. So we end up with x over 4 plus 1.